Humanity's actions have an impact on the planet, as highlighted by scholars. A new issue in the spotlight is about Earth modifications, and the most intriguing thing is that it resembles one of the major changes that have occurred throughout the planet's history. It deals with the future joining of the continents. A few million years ago, during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras, the configuration of land on the planet was different from today. All the continents, which today are separated by seas and oceans, were interconnected as a single landmass. Some scholars claim that this formation may happen again in the future with the union of the continents. The separation that exists today is the result of the movement of tectonic plates, which continues to occur on a smaller scale to this day. From this, there are researchers who believe in the possibility of a rapprochement of the lands, a process that would take about 250 million years to occur progressively. The scholar Chris Scotese released this hypothesis of Earth's unity after research carried out by the Paleo Map Project. To facilitate the visualization of the possible result of this process, an account on the social network Reddit released a map of what would be called the next Pangaea. The image shows what the world would look like after this rapprochement, and many internet users question the benefits and consequences that this change would generate for humanity. One of the points to be considered is the reduction in the distance between populations and the possibility of shorter trips. If this hypothesis is realized, the world 250 million years from now will have more similarity with the ancient planet than with our current reality, something difficult to imagine. The concept that the continents of our planet wander across the globe, periodically merging and separating, has been known for at least two centuries. However, it was not until the 1960s that most geologists embraced this idea, as mounting evidence made it evident that the Earth's crust is fragmented into pieces known as tectonic plates, which are in constant motion. Nowadays, we can directly observe and measure this movement with remarkable precision from space. The simplified explanation commonly given for the motion of tectonic plates is that they are carried along by currents in the upper mantle, the slowly flowing layer of solid rock just beneath the Earth's surface. Converging currents push the plates together, while diverging currents pull them apart. This explanation is mostly accurate. Hot rock from the mantle rises towards the surface and moves beneath the crust until it cools down and sinks back down. However, the plates are not passive entities. Being transported by these conveyor-like currents, as if they were a collection of suitcases on a luggage carousel. They cannot be, because some plates move faster than the currents below them. For example, the Nazca Plate, an oceanic slab off the western coast of South America, is steadily moving eastward at a speed of about 10 centimeters per year, while the mantle underneath it moves at only 5 centimeters. Therefore, tectonic plates, just like luggage, cannot travel faster than the belt they are on, unless there is an additional force pushing or pulling them. Interestingly, some of Earth's plates are capable of self-propulsion. When an oceanic plate collides with another oceanic plate, or with a plate carrying the thicker crust of continental landmasses, the thinner plate bends and slides beneath the other. As the edge of the seafloor sinks into the mantle, it exerts a pulling force on the plate behind it, much like a chain hanging off a table will eventually slide as it extends further. The larger the submerged portion of the plate becomes, the stronger the pull and the faster the plate behind it moves. These phenomena can be observed using tools like Google Earth. The deep narrow ocean trenches visible off the coasts of certain continents and island chains indicate the folds created as the oceanic crust sinks downward, bending the neighboring plate's edge in the process. Moreover, these segments of seafloor crust actually contribute to the driving force of convective motion in the underlying mantle. Sunken slabs of oceanic crust obstruct the sideways flow of rock, compelling it to turn downward and sink. Eventually, these slabs become too heavy and break off, slowly descending towards the Earth's core and creating a suction force that drags mantle material along. Thus, in some aspects, seafloor crust resembles a component of the conveyor belt rather than an entity riding on top of it. On the other hand, the continents can be likened to baggage in this analogy. Welcome to a world we know and love, a planet full of beauty and wonder. But sometimes nature reminds us that its strength is relentless. The Earth is made up of tectonic plates that are constantly moving like pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle. Unfortunately, these movements can have devastating consequences. 
When tectonic faults break, the Earth shakes with unimaginable energy. What starts as a slight vibration quickly turns into overwhelming chaos. Destructive earthquakes can erupt in a matter of seconds, reducing entire cities to rubble, stealing precious lives and leaving humanity in shock. A quick and efficient response is essential. Courageous rescue teams come together, risking their lives to save others. Solidarity and hope prevail amidst the devastation to protect our planet. Scientists are dedicated to studying tectonic plates and developing early warning systems. This vital research helps predict earthquakes and allows communities to prepare and protect themselves. It is important for each of us to become informed and prepared. Education and planning can save lives when the earth shakes. Despite adversity, human resilience is remarkable. Over time, cities rise up again stronger and prepared to face the unknown.